Okay, the hatch has opened. We see a piece of thing just flying out from the capsule into the outer space. That means the hatch has been opened. Look in the hatch. And now Jai Jigong can actually look into the space with an open hatch. So something just flushed out of the module means there is still some pressure difference between the orbital module and the space. We are about to see the head of Jai Chugang sticking out of the hatch. I think all the people who watch this must be very excited to see a Chinese taikonauts opening a hatch and make his first step into the space. Oh, we can see light. I think it's a reflection of the Earth uh, from the sun. Well, the hatch has been totally opened. I think the blue part is a part of the Earth. Forty-two-year-old Jai Zhigang, Chinese-trained taikonaut, is about to perform EVA. Three hundred forty-three kilometers above the Earth. This is four four o'clock. Four, yeah. four zero. Four four zero. Exactly four four zero Beijing time. Forty-two year old Jai Zhigang is making a historic move. The first EVA by Chinese. By the way, by by most by most systems of reckoning, it, this is already an EVA. He's fully exposed to the vacuum of space. And yeah, and already when the hatch is open, is already an EVA. And actually, it is the. And actually, this is the 298th EVA of human being. Yep. Well, we see the helmet. We can see the helmet of Jai Zhigang with the background of the earth. He is sticking his helmet out of the capsule. And uh, the first task when he is outside yeah. is to transfer yeah. some experimental materials to the module. Yeah. Well, we see Jai Zhigang. Yeah. And we can see loud applause from the control. He's waving to us. He's waving to us. He said, I, am, I have been out of the hatch. I'm feeling good. 
to all the people in my country and the world, my greetings. My country, please have faith in me, and I will, my team will finish this mission. He's making a dialogue with the ground control. He's uh, hooking something to the to the spacecraft so that he can has a hold onto the body of the outer body of the spacecraft. But he's crawling actually. It's like a family the rockets to use the uh, every steps. With the help of the handlebars installed on the outer body of the spacecraft, he is now moving. Is he coming from the Well, this shot is actually taken from the camera on the propelling module. The whole process take pl taking place in the sun, not in the dark. In the sun mm -hmm. and, and with uh, full communication coverage. And yes. with full communication. Because one orbit around the Earth of Shenzhou 7 is one and a half hour. Only half of them is in the sun. Yes. That's uh, around 40 minutes. And now we see the live feed again. The flag of the People's Republic of China, the flag of the People's Republic of China is unfurled by one astronaut There's with the background of the Earth. We can see the flag. He's waving the flag, the flag of the People's Republic of China for the first time being unfurled by an astronaut in outer space. The other astronaut is right there in the hatch. Yeah, we can see the other astronaut, Liu, Liu Boming, is also at the hatch. So he is basically conducting the EVA too. The 10 minutes have passed since the EVA began. Now we can see two astronauts facing each other. And Jai Zhigang just passed the national flag, a small flag, to Liu Boming. And also, also I believe, uh, some experimental materials. They need to have good cooperation and faith in each other to have this mission finished. Many spacewalks last five, six, seven, uh, up to nine hours. Mm. And this means that the astronauts, while they are working, are constantly going through the cycle of darkness yeah, I'll, and I'll light. Go around the Earth. And it must be very disconcerting to have the lights turn off every, yeah, every 40 every minutes, one, 45 yes, minutes. Yes, exactly. You see sunrise and sunset in such a quick way. Mm -hmm. I presume it must be a very different and uh, enlightening experience for anyone to have, to have been in outer space. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. The environment around you is just pitch black, is as black as it can get. On the day side of Earth, Earth is so bright that your eyes iris down and you can't see the stars. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, on the night side of Earth, it's just you, black. It, 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 uh, no, you, you're actually, you feel like you're floating among the stars. Mm. They're all around you. They're not twinkling at all. I think uh, Jai Zhigang has retrieved the material, the lubricant material that is uh, placed on the outer body of the spacecraft. He's supposed to retrieve the materials and give it back to Liu Boming, who still stayed inside the orbital